What are you saying YouTube? Jay Mono back with another video. This video is going to be the most beneficial things you can do for your Fiesta ST150 to get the most power out of it. Now some of these things are going to be quite expensive but these are the common routes people take to try and get the most power out of the engine. So you could say the five most expensive mods to get your ST150 quicker. Number five on the list is to upgrade the camshafts. Now a common upgrade is the Newman PH series camshafts. They're relatively inexpensive. You can get them installed for around 400, 450 quid. Upgrading your camshafts allows for the valves to be open a little bit longer, which allows more fuel, more air in, and it gets the exhaust gases out quicker. The only bad side about upgrading your camshafts is sometimes you can get a dodgy idle in the lower revs because these are more beneficial in the mid range to higher revs. So the idle might be a little bit, uh, a little bit dodgy, but you'll get benefits that are worth that dodgy idle. You may also lose a slight bit of low end power, but that low end power you will lose, you will gain in the higher end. But I would recommend the PH2s for road use. Next, upgrade the inlet manifold and get a proper inlet manifold, not a copy. Now you can go the Cosworth route. The Cosworth route is good if you're gonna turbo it, if you're gonna keep it NA. I would recommend the Fusion Fabs manifold. The cheaper options of these can leave you with mating issues. Sometimes you have to modify it yourself because it's hard to fit. You can also get a monotone inlet, but they're like two grand at the moment and they're uh, normally their setups are full monotone setup. So they'll keep that on the car. They won't really be selling the inlet on its own unless they're breaking the car. The Cosworth manifold, they're about 200 quid secondhand. Uh, they're good for torque and for brake force power. They are quite rare to get hold of now though. What I'd recommend is the Fusion Fabrication Manifold and that is basically, it's made by a company, Fusion Fabrications. They have been working with like the Fiesta STOC forum for a while and they've created this manifold that's similar to the monitoring manifold and it delivers very good overall torque figures. So the BHP figures aren't as good as other manifolds but the torque overall has good numbers throughout the rev ranges. So what that basically means is you'll have a more uh, suitable road car for driving it fast. It's got the power there. So it's not lacking the low end or full range torque like some of the other manifolds will give you. It makes for a really fast road car. Next, remaps. Quite obvious, get your car remapped. Common options, Dream Science, Monotune, AEG, they all do good remaps. I'd recommend Dream Science. You can get like a little uh, box that plugs into your ECU that you can have like switchable maps so you can go from a fuel efficient map to like a fast road map to to whatever really. I'd recommend getting it remapped after you've done all the modifications only because you're going to benefit more if you've got all the modifications first because you could get a remap you change your modifications and then you're gonna have to get another remap to suit their modifications so definitely get the mods first and then get a remap. You can go the dream science route and you can get a remap and the cams done at the same time for like a little bit cheaper which is a good option. Number two on the list turbocharger engine. Now we're talking big power. Flapping on the turbocharger you can add literally 100 brake horsepower to this with the right setup from standard. It's silly power for this car if you think it would be sitting at like 250 brake horsepower for the weight it weighs which is just over 1,100 kilograms. It, it, it would be a serious contender for other cars out there especially if it was stripped down. Um, they're quite expensive kits around 2,500 quid. If you don't know how turbos work they basically just use the exhaust gases to feed a turbine which spins another turbine which forces air back into the system which means more air more fuel more explosions more power. Now these systems like I said expensive around 2,500 pound and that's not even including labour that's for you to buy the kit itself. There's probably a few companies out there that will put it on for uh, a bit more but you're looking at like probably Three, 3,500 for a full kit installed, brand new kit I'm on about, a full brand new kit installed. Probably the best thing you can do is slap a supercharger on there. Supercharger is a common route taken to charge these engines and get a lot more power out of them. You get similar gains to a turbocharger, except from a supercharger doesn't have to spool up like a turbocharger would have to, meaning you'd get more power over the full rev range rather than a turbo that's limited to when it will start spooling. Turbochargers are basically kind of like an air compressor that allows more air to get into the engine and similarly creates more power. And there are a few options for turbochargers, uh, similar kind of price and you're looking at around 3,000, 4,000 pound and 3,000 is not even really including labor, but you will see some serious gains. Hope this gives you some ideas what you can do to your ST150 and it's definitely given me a few ideas of what I want to do to mine. Like I said, these are just common routes that people take to get a lot of power out of these engines. There's a lot of options if you're if you're willing to spend like £3,000 on a car, there's a lot of options you can do. But for the ST150s, these are the common routes to get the most power out of them. You've got to bear in mind though, if you, there are other things that you might need to upgrade if you're going to be putting on like a supercharger that like the uh, differential might give in or, or 
the gearbox might not be able to handle it. So if you are wanting to go these routes to get your to get the most power out of your SD150, definitely look at some builds of what other people have done and see the uh, other options or the other things they've had to buy or modify to be able to put that power down and for their car to be reliable at that kind of power. Let me know what you've done to your ST. Let me know if you've taken any of these routes. I really want to see some STs that have been uh, like turbocharged or supercharged. Yeah, let me know below and I will uh, catch you next time.